Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining me again as I paint. Tonight, I'm going to be starting a painting of Charles Spurgeon lighting up a cigar, basing it on this photo. I painted a painting not long ago of J.R.R. Tolkien lighting up his pipe. And a year or so ago, I painted one of C.S. Lewis lighting up his pipe. So I thought I'd just make it a trio and include Charles Spurgeon. So thank you for watching. Uh, grab some coffee and sit back, relax, and thanks again for joining me. Now I know I'm going to paint well. All right, I'm going to get started here. I start off by putting in dark colors over the sketch, filling in dark areas, establishing a dark and light pattern. I always get a little bit nervous at the start of a portrait because I think, what if I mess this up? And uh, I just have to start putting paint down on the board. And I figure I can always go over it and touch it up and correct things, but uh, still always that uh, initial fear and so I think a lot of you who paint can relate to that I think that's very common for artists now I'm putting down flesh tones again this is undercoat using heavy body acrylics when I finish this first coat I will go back over it with oils just filling it in and I know that I can always touch it up that's what I like about acrylics if you use watercolors you can't make mistakes but you can make plenty of mistakes with acrylics and believe me I have a lot of things I need to fix up as I do a painting so I'm just uh, beginning to add some blue for the coat and you see that I put blue in his hair um, I'm using phthalo blue mixed with white and um, one of the things that I do is I always put uh, colors that aren't there in so his hair might not have had any blue in it and there's blue in his mustache but uh, that's makes it pop when there's colors that aren't there now you can see I'm doing the background splashing it on different colors I'm using blue I'm using raw umber I'm using yellow ochre I'm mixing in phthalo green and cadmium yellow of course mixing white in titanium white working back into his suit so adding some highlights there on his sleeve Alright, now I'm going to start using oils. You can see I have a paper plate or a styrofoam plate there with my oil paint on it. And uh, I'm doing that because then I don't have to keep reaching over to my right so much onto a palette. So, begin by this first session is uh, adding oils to the skin colors. And I needed to fix up the fingers on his left hand, which is holding the cigar. So that was part of what I had to fix up. Uh, skin tone, mix a little bit of uh, burnt sienna with white, with uh, a little bit of yellow ochre. Sometimes I mix in a little bit of cadmium red with white and yellow ochre or raw sienna. So. Now I'm just continuing to work over the whole painting. After I got his skin tones done, working on the background, I'll work on his coat. So it took me a whole session just working on his working on his uh, skin, working on his face and hands. And then now this is a completely different session where I'm working on his suit. I have phthalo, phthalo blue. But I'm also mixing other colors in, like a little bit of yellow ochre mixed with a 
phthalo blue and white. And uh, same with the background, all kinds of different colors mixed in. Phthalo green, yellow ochre, a little bit of cadmium yellow in there. So working over the whole area of the background. A little bit tricky making the, the smoke effect, but it seems like it's working out pretty good. So you can see I still am using a styrofoam plate there with my paint on it. That way I can just kind of keep focused on the painting. I don't have to keep turning off to the side too much. Just signed it there and it's uh, finished. So thanks a lot for watching. You can see more videos if you want to at Mark Altrogi Paintings on YouTube. And uh, please check out my websites. If you want to see some of my paintings or you want to see prints, markaltrogipaintings.com and Mark Altrogi Studio on Etsy. So thanks so much for watching.